Alright guys, this is a response to a viewer who is watching the third step of my 4x4 Rubik's Cube tutorial, which goes over how to solve the remaining parity cases in the 4x4 cube. So, if you look at the 4x4 cube I'm holding here, these two pieces have basically been switched. The orange dead piece is on the blue side, and the blue dead piece is on the orange side. If you look at the remaining two sides, they are complete. This is a case which you will never see in a 3x3 cube. What you do see in a 3x3 cube, however, if you look at my seventh step of the 3x3 tutorial, is that you have, you can, you frequently actually get a solid side and you get three improper edge pieces on the top layer. So what we want to do is we want to basically get it so that it looks like a 3x3 cube uh, in the seventh step. So we want to get three incorrect, um, three incorrect edge pieces instead of two. So what we do is we basically hold a completed side on the right because after this we're going to be able to perform the Allen. And in the Allen you have to hold the completed side on the right. Now it doesn't really matter. You could hold it on the left and then you could do the reverse Allen if you wanted to. But since I taught the regular Allen, um, I'm just going to go over how to, to get it so that you can use that move instead. So you basically want to hold a completed side on the right. It doesn't matter which completed side. What we're basically going to be doing is performing the same algorithm first that I use in the third step to basically switch these two edge pieces, the top two opposite edge pieces. So what that will do it, it, is it will bring the piece here, which is the orange piece, it will bring it onto the green side and will bring that green piece onto the blue side. So we will have, we're going to have three incorrect edge pieces. So let's go ahead and perform that move. So hold that completed side on the right and you do inside right face 180 degrees up face 180 degrees inside right face 180 degrees just this face is going 180 so you have to remember to turn this one back both up faces 180 degrees inside right face 180 degrees both up faces 180 degrees and then just the up face 180 degrees now you'll look at the cube and you'll see that there are three incorrect edge pieces. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the completed side on the right and then if you look at the three edge pieces, um, what the Allen does is it makes the edge pieces, the three edge pieces, go in a counterclockwise direction. So this one is going to go here, this piece is going to go here, and this piece is going to go here. Meaning the green piece is going to go on the green side, the orange piece is going to go on the orange side, and the blue onto the blue side. So we hold that completed side on the right and we perform the Allen, which is left 180 degrees, top face counterclockwise, back face clockwise, front face counterclockwise, left face 180 degrees, back face counterclockwise, front face gonna go clockwise, then the top face is going to go counterclockwise and then the left face is going to go 180. So if you followed that procedure you should end up with a final uh, complete cube. Alright guys so hopefully that helped out a little bit. Um, basically what we did is that since we had these two edges which were incomplete we just basically switched these two so that we had three and then we were able to solve it just like a 3x3 three three cube. If you have any questions, you can feel free to send them to me on YouTube and I'll be able to give you some advice on that if you have any problems. Alright guys, hope that helped.